Hey guys, it's Nerd Nick, and I'm here with Ray, also known as Guniac on the forums. Hi guys. And what we're going to be doing today is showing you how to balance an EDF. Um, Ray, can you tell me what we've got here? Yeah, this is um, so this is your Change Sun um, 10 blade fan. Um, basically, what we're going to do is just do a really simple balance. There's a lot of different ways to do this. This is the way that I choose to do it because it's the simplest, the easiest. Um, it only takes a couple minutes to do it. Um, it goes off of feel and sound. You don't have to use a balancer or anything like that. Okay. Um, if you have a, um, what I normally do is I'll I'll get a baseline setting here. Um, I'll you know I'll be able to feel if it's right. And then if you have a plane that it's going to go into, then you use the plane to do the final fine tuning. So so how does it actually work? Like what is there a name for this method or? I don't know if there's a name for it or not. Okay. I just um, I've seen it done a couple times, and I just took it and, and tweaked it, and I, I, I made it the thing that I do for any any, um, any EDF. Okay. It's just really simple to do. So it's, it's kind of a feel thing. You're saying vibrations and it's sound. Feel and vibration and sound. And Most of it's feel. How do you um, how do you compare this to? I know I've seen other methods uh, of people doing this. Yeah. You know why do you why did you choose this method to use? Why, the main why do you use the main reason why I chose it is because it's really easy, easy and okay. it doesn't take long to do. There are other methods. They have dynamic balancing. There's mm -hmm. things you can use with lasers and. Wow. You can actually use a magnetic balancer if you want, but from what I've I've compared those two, mm -hmm. this works just as good, but it's probably a quarter of the time. Cool, yeah. cool. Okay, so we've got our battery already hooked up, our ESC radio, so we can test this, and we have uh, the EDF assembled. Mm -hmm. um, and what we're I guess we're going to set a baseline. Let's run it up and see yeah, see that's how what it goes. We're do. Okay. Basically, what we do um, first thing you do after the after it's been assembled, you just put everything together. What I did, I've already done it, but you take a marker, preferably a different color so you can see if it's on black, but this is a black marker. Make a line, choose one blade, and then make a line on the spinner so that you can go along the different blades to check and see. So I guess we can do that now. We can run it up okay. and see how it is. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and arm the throttle here. And this is this is another thing I wanted to, wanted to if you have a, a test stand, that's probably the best way to do this. Holding, it's not the safest, but if you're, we're going to only run it up really low throttle, mm -hmm. so it's not really going to be that bad. You don't need to go full throttle to do this. You can do this just from, you know, barely above idle okay. to get it to work. So, um, go ahead and okay. give a little bit. We're going to run it up here. Go ahead. And I feel the air blowing there. The air blowing the right way. Okay. Now, I can feel vibration right now. Okay. You, you, put, it, oh. you put it on a table or on a piece of foam or something mm -hmm. else, you can hear it or feel it too. Yeah, I did. I felt the table. You can feel the table? Yeah. Okay. Um, so the first thing we're going to do, you see the line there, you see that I made that on mm -hmm. the fan. So we're going to loosen the spinner. There are ten blades, so we've got ten different possible balance positions here. Okay. And this is just the base. So we start there, loosen this. So we, we picked one initially just random. Just random. And yeah. and we tested it and it, we felt vibration and we right. heard it, so it's not right. It's right. not right. Okay. So we're just going to keep going. Okay. So I'll move over to the, to the next blade over. This is your reference, so you know that that's where you started. Sure. Go ahead and give a little little throttle. Okay. Throttle active. I don't know if you can hear it on the... Feel it or feel it. I can, can feel, feel it on the table. Okay, so go ahead and Yeah, I can still off. feel it. So let's move again. Throttle. 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 We're going to move it over to the next position. See how it sounds. And another thing to note too, if you do find where it sounds and feels better, you can move it around within that, you know, within the space of that blade to see if it's, okay. if it's any better. So go ahead. Throttle active. Feel it, still feel it in here. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Go ahead still feel it. So this is basically what we do all the way until we get back to the other side. Okay. So at some point, if you if you find one that. Uh, is, is balanced or, or that, that causes it to be balanced, what are you expecting to hear or feel? You'll feel it. Um, it's not really so much hear, hearing at this point, it's more feel. Okay. You can feel it. Right now you can feel it. I mean, if, if you were holding it, you can feel it okay. and you can hear it through here. Now when it gets better, you're not going to be able to hear a difference between the way this sounds when you're holding it in your hand mm -hmm. when, and when you, when you touch, the touch the table. Okay. You hear a little bit of motor noise, mm -hmm. but you won't feel vibration. Okay. Let's go ahead and run it up one more time. Throttle active. It feels a little better. There's a lot less though. A lot less. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't feel it nearly as much yeah. in the table. So now when I get, if there's one that sounds a little better, I'll make a little mark. I won't, it won't be the final mark, but it'll make like a little mark down low on the blade so you'll know that that was an okay, okay spot. Okay. But that's not the final place. I'm still going to keep going. So let's move it over again. 
again. Next side. That's blade. Go ahead and run it. Throttle active. Still a little vibration. Yeah, I barely feel it now. Just barely. Yeah, I barely feel it. It's getting better. So I'll make another little mark there too, because that was a good one. Make the marks a little different so you can tell. Okay. So I moved it up a little higher. But again, that's not the final mark. One more blade. Okay. Go ahead. All right. Throttle active. Run it up again. Starting to get worse again. Not no vibration. Okay. Throttle hold. So we're almost back to the other side, so we'll just keep going. I'm not going to mark that blade. That wasn't good. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Yep. Yeah, the vibrations. Going. It's coming back. Stronger. Vibrations coming back. But I always go through all ten because you never know. Okay. However many blades, it's always best to just go through them all. And then you can kind of have a reference point too, because then you can see what was good and what was bad. Makes sense. There we go. Probably the best so far. Yeah, I don't. I don't feel any better. Okay. Throttle. So that's another good one. Yeah, it sounded better, and the, the table all had almost no no, yeah. no vibration to Next it. And then, so I'll mark that too. And then we'll compare between those other two marks that I made too. Okay. Then you can. I guess that'll help showing which one's good, which one's bad. Now, have you ever seen an EDF that doesn't have that cone on it? I mean, it's just a, a bolt or something there? This is a different style. There are several different styles of EDFs, um, of, the, of the rotor and the hub. This is the kind that has a spinner, so you can actually pull this part off. Okay. And then you get underneath, there's going to be a, um, an adapter. Okay. And a, and a, this is the easiest kind, because you don't okay. have to pull the whole thing. So if I, was, if I was going to be buying one right now and purchasing an EDF, mm -hmm. this type would be the, the ideal way for this type of balancing? For this type of balancing, okay. this is the best. Okay. Uh, so having the cone on there is, is really what makes it, it okay. makes it. It makes it a lot easier. Okay. So I think we just moved it over one. We're okay. Ready to run up one more time. Go ahead. Throttle active. So more vibration. You can yeah, feel it. I can feel it. Throttle All right. So one more, and then we're back at the start again. feels and sounds pretty good. I'm going to mark that too. So now we'll go back, because we're at the beginning again. Mm -hmm. We'll compare all of these to the marks that we already made. And then see how they sound. So we already found that one. That okay. one was good. That yep. was a good spot. I felt a little vibration. Just still. a little bit. So yeah. let's go back to the other ones and see if it's any better or worse. Okay. And if I, if I was at home, you know, doing this on the kitchen table, would I still have the same, it same would results? It would still be the same results. Okay. The best thing to do is to use this on the plane you're going to put it in. Put it in the plane, okay. Yeah. Well, and um, you do it outside of the plane, but just touching it to the plane okay. will give you, um, we'll let you know if there's any extra resonance Got or it. vibration. There might still be some resonance when it's in the plane, but it won't be the same as the vibration. Okay. Here we go. A little bit of vibration there. Feels pretty good, though. Yeah. So that, let's see, so that was one. Go back to the other two. I think it might be that first one. Okay, okay here we go. Throttle active. Okay. Throttle hold. Let's go back to the other one. That. So I think it's that first mark. The first one we, we were on is the best. Okay. So let's, well the last one that we, last one that we did, which is right by the uh, first mark that we made, which is right here. So this is where we're going to leave it. Okay. And we'll go back and you can hear that the sound is probably the best. It still could be better, but it's still pretty good. Here we go. Okay. So that's 
throttle hold. So that's the one. So I'll make a bigger mark so we'll know that that's the one okay. to stay on. Cover most of the most of that blade. So now we've got the cone in, in the right place. It feels like this is the best. That's best a good, the best, we, the good baseline. Do we have any ability to fine tune it from there now? Yes, and that's um, what I've done here. I actually use electrical tape to do that. What I'll do is I'll cut little square, small squares. It doesn't have to be you know perfect, but okay. just squares. And I usually put two together because okay. um, that usually works the best. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll use this line as a reference still, mm -hmm. and then we'll choose different marks on the uh, on the hub until it feels the best. Okay, so we're just going to place pieces of tape and yeah. do kind of the same thing where we move it around right. the hub. Okay. Just that you, instead of just using a mark, we're using weight. Instead. Okay. Um, and it only takes a couple weights. It doesn't take much. Um, the good thing to do is to, this isn't the best tape, but you can use, if you use a really good electrical tape, mm -hmm. um, like the 3M tape, that's the best. And that stuff won't come won't off. Come Once off. you put okay. it in place, it's, it's good. Another okay. thing to remember too is that a lot of these, since this is plastic, there's going to be some kind of a releasing agent that they have in there. So the best thing to do is to clean it out oh, with it. alcohol or something else. But um, for what we're going to do today, this is good. Another thing to remember is that when you're running it up with the weight on the outside, run it up as low as possible. You don't need to go fast. Okay. Because um, it will shoot the tape off and you lose it and have to start all over <laughs> again. So just um, keep keep that in mind. Okay. Um, but other than that, that's it. So uh, again, we already we have this spot, so we just choose a random spot. Take okay. a weight. And what I usually do is I'll go 180 degrees from where Just opposite started, side? The opposite okay. side of where you started. Put it there. And you try and put it towards the base as far as you can? Um, that's another thing that we're going to fine tune too. You I can see. either start at one um, closer to the front, it won't have as much, it won't Got it. be, you know, it won't want to spit off as much. Mm -hmm. But um, sometimes, once you get to the right balance point, when you figure out when it's when it's right, you can move it from uh, either further out or further in, and it could get better or worse. Cool. So I'll just start at the outside. And then we'll just run it up really slowly. Make sure you're wearing some sort of glasses. It's best not to do this. Um, with other people in front of me. So, run it up. That's good. Okay. So you heard a little vibration. Yep. So let's move to one other spot. And we're just moving in little increments. Okay, so you're just going to go around? Yeah, just okay. around. It could be halfway in between. It could be in line with the blade, whatever. Okay. But that's pretty much it. So let's move a little over. And you'll notice when, the, when it changes. Let's go ahead and run it up. Okay. Throttle active. Nothing. A little, just a little. Okay. Telemetry recovered. Just Battery so critical. So Zero volts. I'm gonna move throttle it. hold. Just a little bit more. A little bit. And then um, we'll see. Okay. Throttle active. Ooh. Okay. You hear the sound? Mm -hmm. Hear the difference? Yeah. yeah. And there's no difference from when I'm holding it yeah. and when it's on the table. That's perfect. That's it. We got it. So that's the spot. So what we're going to do is make a mark on the outside of the hub so that you know where to put the tape. I usually make a square so you know that's where Okay. Otherwise you don't get mixed up with the other lines. So I'm going to unplug just to be safe. Pull this apart. RSSI critical. Telemetry lost. Pull the hub all the way off. Now we've already got the lines marked, mm -hmm. so we'll know exactly where to put it back. Perfect. Pull that off. And you just take the tape, put it on the inside. Ah, very smart. Make so sure. now it's not going to blow off. <laughs> right. So now it stays inside. Again, the best thing to do is to spray alcohol in here first, wipe it down to make sure that this sticks, because there could still be some sort of releasing sure. agent or something in there. But it, this one looks to be sticking pretty good. So then we put it back, let's get the screw in, then I'll line it up again. So let's get back to the good mark. Put that there. We'll do one last test. There's no difference between in your hand or on the table. 
that's it. Sounds great. And then um, if you really want to fine tune it, the best thing to do is to get the plane that you're going to put it in. Perfect, yeah. And then just touch it to the plane. Okay. You might have, you, all you'd have to do is move this just a little bit. Couple degrees here or there to fine tune it for that, but other than that, you're pretty much done. That's it. Cool. That's all there is to it. So Ray, thanks so much for showing this. You you're calling this the like a, as a vibration feel kind of kind right. method here, right? And essentially, we're using um, the sound the EDF's making and then the vibrations either on the table or in the plane, the plane itself, right? um, to to determine if it's balanced. Right. Now, um, one of the really cool things about this method that I like is. If the, if the EDF's already in your plane, you can still do this. As mm -hmm. long as you can get to the fan, right. you can perform this. You don't have to take it all apart. You don't have to. Uh, and, and, and it works really well. Mm -hmm. um, so just to, just to recap what we've done here, um, we started out <coughs> by assembling the EDF. Um, and, and Ray, let me know if I miss anything here. Mm -hmm. sure. uh, we, we assembled the EDF, and then we started out by making um, a single line across one of the blades and, and on the cone. And that gave us a starting reference point. We spun up uh, the EDF, we, we listened um, to how it sounded in the air, and then when you touch the table, you can feel the vibration if it's out of balance, and you can also hear a difference between how the fan sounds. Um, so then, essentially, we've loosened just the just the cone. The actual fan is still tight, um, but we loosen the cone, we spin it one blade, we do that over and over again uh, until we try every single one, marking the ones that sound the best. Right. Uh, and then once we found the one we like the best, we took a little square piece of electrical tape and we did the same process where now we put the tape on the cone uh, and moved it around um, until we found you know the real sweet spot right. and then to keep the the tape itself fully intact we took the cone off put it on the inside right. and that really gave us the ability to uh, prevent it from coming off right and now you you recommended cleaning this uh, the plastic before you put the tape on right what, what do you use to do that I just use regular rubbing alcohol okay. um, just to get any releasing agent that they used on the mold okay to get it out okay. um, other than that, that's pretty much it. Or you could just wipe it out with a piece of microfiber or okay. something that's not going to leak lint. And it, do you find that this method needs to be uh, re, uh, you know, re redone? Does it no, go out of balance at some point? It doesn't. All the ones that I've used, um, as soon as you set it once, you're done. Okay. If you and the important thing to do is use the use the best type of electrical tape you can use, okay. which is usually the 3M or something else that you know is high quality. Those stay in place. Cool. You know, some will use more. Some will use less. Um, okay. to balance. Sometimes you have to use a lot, sometimes you only use a little. Sometimes it could just be moving um, along the blades. That might, okay. all, that might be all that you need. But either way, you can hear it and feel it. Cool. That's right. Yeah, and there was definitely a difference. Yeah. You, you could tell a difference. Mm -hmm. Cool. So yeah. guys, hey, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. And Ray, thanks so much for your time. Sure, I really no appreciate it. No problem. Thanks, guys.